What happened to this woman was nothing short of scandalous. She was seven months pregnant when her inconsiderate boyfriend decided to leave her in pursuit of freedom. What the boyfriend did not know was that she secretly was a millionaire, a revelation that made him call her upset months later. In the beginning, Mandy's boyfriend, Kevin, seemed like the perfect companion. He showered his girlfriend with love and showed nothing but support for every venture she undertook. It also helped that Kevin was on solid ground with Mandy's family. They adored him, and he seemed to feel the same about them. But all of that changed once Mandy got pregnant. It was clear from the start that Mandy was happier about the pregnancy news than Kevin was, but he seemed to deal with it well. He found her small growing belly really cute in the beginning, but that attitude changed very quickly. After a while, the change in Kevin's behavior was undeniable. He didn't help around the house anymore and showed no interest in becoming a father whatsoever. Kevin also came home late, smelling like beer multiple times a week. Mandy couldn't take it much longer, so she confronted Kevin about it, and that's when things took a turn. He reacted irritated and went to bed early that day. Mandy let him go, thinking that he just needed to cool off. But the next morning when Mandy woke up, his suitcases were already packed and standing beside the front door. He was leaving her. Kevin couldn't take this homely lifestyle and didn't want to be a father at all. He left because he wanted to be free of the burden and responsibility. After that, Kevin closed the door behind him and behind their relationship. Mandy was heartbroken and could still barely believe what had just happened. The poor young woman dropped down to the floor and broke down in tears. How can he leave me while I'm seven months pregnant? The more she thought about this betrayal, the more the poor woman lost her mind. Luckily, she had close family and friends to help her stay on her feet. They cared for Mandy, and she needed all the support she could get in this last trimester. After a while, she got the hang of single pregnancy life. She was even glad that this fake man was removed from her life. It's a good thing he didn't know I was rich, she said, smiling. Mandy inherited a massive amount of money from her father, who passed away about 10 years ago. He owned one of the largest media companies in the 1980s and 90s and sold the business for a boatload of money. When he died, he passed this wealth on to his children, making Mandy a millionaire instantly. Mandy knowingly kept this part of her life a secret from Kevin. She met Kevin about five years after her father died. So she was already rich when she met him, but she didn't want him to know about it. Both Mandy and her family were now happy that she made this decision. Mandy wanted Kevin to be with her because he truly loved her. <laughs> she was afraid that if he knew about the money, he would only be with her for the wrong reasons. And it was good that she made this decision in the end. In the middle of her pregnancy, Kevin showed his true colors. After the poor woman picked herself up from the brink of a breakdown with the help of family and friends, she was ready to look toward the future. Mandy would raise her child by herself and give it all the love in the world. It helped that she didn't have to worry about finances, though. During the next few months, Mandy endured the toughest period of her pregnancy alone. It was more difficult than expected, and her family was not always there to help her. Even getting up the stairs was a chore and a half, but then the time hit zero, and the moment was there. Mandy's water broke, and it was time for her to go into labor. She called her sister Julia, who had been her rock throughout this journey. Together they drove to the hospital, and Mandy started with the childbirth. Julia held her hand throughout and encouraged her. Eight hours later, Mandy's beautiful baby girl was born. The new mother could not have been happier. Sure, a loving boyfriend by her side would have been great, but the sight of her newborn baby made up for all of it. She was the most gorgeous thing in the world to her. But then the dramatic turn of events happened about two months later. At that point, Mandy was already used to being a single mother. She was a powerful woman who needed no man to care for her girl. But right after feeding her baby one afternoon, the phone suddenly rang. It was Kevin. Kevin sounded very upset from the start. Mandy could hear him sobbing over the phone as he explained why he called. Kevin stated that he saw a news article in the local paper about the granddaughter of a millionaire media mogul being born. And in the picture, he saw Mandy and his daughter. Mandy knew precisely what newspaper article her ex-boyfriend was referring to. 
it was the interview that she herself gave permission to be published. She made this decision knowingly because she knew that the article would eventually reach Kevin, and with it, he would realize what he had walked out on. A smile appeared on Mandy's face because Kevin did exactly what she had predicted. Mandy knew that Kevin would eventually find out about her inherited money. If he had found out on his own, he would have forced his way back into their lives unwillingly. On paper, he was still the father to her daughter, and that gave him a claim on her upbringing. And with it, their lives. Kevin would then forcefully claim co-parenting rights, and a judge would probably grant him that request. With this, he could demand money for Lola's upbringing, which needed to be stopped. So I came up with a plan to lure him in on my terms, not to welcome him back, but to set a clever trap. And the unknowing Kevin fell for it hard. When Kevin called half crying and begging for forgiveness, he thought he was sweet-talking himself back into their lives. But the reality was that Mandy planned every step that led the two of them back together. Mandy played her part as the forgiving girlfriend perfectly. She accepted him back and pretended to get over his betrayal quickly. As far as he was concerned, everything was fine again. This thought lowered his guard, making him less aware of her plan. Then the next phase could commence. Mandy took Kevin and Lola to as many public events as possible, preferably places where a lot of photos and videos would be taken, like family reunions or nights out with friends. This was all part of the plan because she needed plenty of footage. Even in their own home, Mandy installed multiple cameras to monitor Kevin's every action. After explaining that, Mandy pointed toward the screen. She showed Julie a video footage of the reunion, where Kevin left Lola crying her eyes out while standing right next to her. Also, inside their home were many examples where Kevin portrayed bad parenting behavior. He was only busy with buying expensive stuff with her money, and she had the bills to prove it. Mandy showed her sister all the receipts she received in her mailbox. Most of the accounts were under her name, so she saw every stupid purchase Kevin made. Her unknowing boyfriend paid the destination of the bills no mind because he thought Mandy loved him again. But the clever Mandy used it all as evidence. The purchase numbers caused by Kevin were staggering, but Mandy kept smiling. It was all for the greater good. Even the golf club where Kevin is right now is in on the trap. Dad was a proud alumnus there and the club was highly regarded. So the staff also secretly taped incriminating conversations with Kevin. All right, so you got a lot of footage of him being a bad father and boyfriend. What is your end goal? Julia asked. Mandy smiled a final time and stated that she wanted Kevin out of their lives completely, without him having the possibility to make parenting demands. They needed a judge for that. Mandy reached down in her purse and pulled a written court order out of it. She stated that everything was already planned. The hearing was within five days, and the judge had made it an order for Kevin to show up. He cannot run away from his responsibility this time. It is inevitable. That afternoon when Kevin came home from golfing, a surprise waited for him by the front door. His suitcases were packed once again. But this time, it was not he who did the packing. Mandy had kicked him out and replaced the locks on her house. On top of the suitcases was the court order. Kevin's face turned sour, and the angry man started slamming the doorpost with his fist. Let me in, woman. But his aggressive approach did not work. And even when he fake cried like he did last time over the phone, Mandy did not cave. See you in court, dude, and now get off my property. One week later, the hearing for this case was ready to start. Kevin and Mandy were there, and her sister Julia sat in the stands to watch everything unfold. With all the evidence gathered, both women could not help but smile. And it was justified because the hearing went incredibly smoothly. Kevin was unfit to be a father to Lola. By leaving his wife in her last pregnant months, he was also unfit to be a caring boyfriend. That's why Mandy, after a short hearing, received full custody of their daughter. Kevin even got a restraining order of 1,500 feet so he could not meddle. After the hearing, Mandy's face lit up with joy. She was over the moon with the outcome. Even though she had anticipated every part of it and probably knew the outcome a long time ago, she could now look toward the future and give Lola all the love a mother could provide. 
She raised a wonderful daughter with her family and friends and the people around Mandy who truly cared. The little girl never felt like she missed out on anything in life. And before Mandy knew it, Lola had grown up to be a happy, smiling two-year-old, a true joy in her life.